The UPS loggers hosting the PLU Lutes today, and this was an instant classic. How about the crowd? Huge crowd on hand for this one. UPS leads it 14 to nothing, but the Lutes would rally back. Second quarter, Walker Lavoie fires one to Wesley Nixon, and the pride of Fife Washington hauls it in. The Lutes then give it to TJ Morris, and Morris muscles his way in. It's 14 7 loggers at the half. Second half now, and Lavoie finds Alex Rendon this time, and he is gone. 38 yard touchdown. It's now 14 14. PLU freshman Hunter Briggs having a big day as the linebacker. The former Rogers Ram star all over the field making tackles for the loose. But Murdoch Rutledge has seen enough. The former Everett star fires one to Colin Heimbach, and Heimbach does the rest. 21 14 loggers. Rutledge having a big day for UPS. Fourth quarter, UPS trying to put this game away. But how about the heads up play from Jordan Zimmerman? The 250 pound defensive lineman from Bonnie Lake gets up, makes the interception. Then it's time for some celebration. Zimmerman and Ryan Lusk with a thunder bump. That's 530 pounds getting up. Under two minutes to go now. It's fourth and two for the Lutes, and it's Lavoie and Rendon one more time. The former Mount Sai star, two touchdowns, is 21 all with just three seconds to play. Here's the play that didn't count that everybody's talking about. The Lutes were trying to run out the clock. Are you kidding me? It's a fumble. UPS recovers. That's the game. That's a touchdown, right? Apparently, there was a whistle on the play, so the play was ruled dead before the fumble. So we're headed to overtime. Everybody take a breath. In the OT, Rutledge saving his best play for last. He scrambles and throws a beauty to Jewel Day. Day having a day. The loggers now lead it 28 to 21. But the Lutes have a chance to tie it. PLU going to the end zone. But Jason Clayton comes through with his second interception of the day. Let the party begin for the loggers and their fans. UPS wins it in overtime 28 to 21. We have a bunch of alumni back for homecoming to celebrate the life of Big Wally, Paul Walworth, uh, one of our all-time great coaches, and one of his big sayings was, so what? And it was great to see our guys be able to show that resilience and that, and that, that catchphrase is so what, and being able to bounce back was uh, pretty exciting to watch. But I'm not sure in, in, in years past if, quite frankly, we're able to bounce back that quickly from uh, with such a high to a low and then being able to bounce back and be ready to go in overtime. And to see us be able to do that with a, with a great offensive play and a great defense play to finish the game, I mean, I just can't ask for anything more. The UPS loggers now 3 and 1 for the first time since 2006. UPS plays Lewis and Clark next week. The Lutes will host Pacific University. I'm Chris Higgin for King 5 Sports.